Sports. This will be the largest group of assembled fans in the Western Hemisphere. That's why they need a big house. Welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand to a college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Wolverines... From inside his own 15, looking for room. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. This crowd bringing an ear-splitting welcome to their visitors. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. The Sooners will hustle to the line. To throw, it's Arnold. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Now the play fake. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And the Sooners send out the punt unit. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He's got great speed. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. Runs through the tackle. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Quickly to the tight end. Across the 25, he's got room. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. That big play has this defense reeling, and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 14. Looking for a gap. It's Edwards. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan! The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a 14-yard run for the score.
From inside the 15, here comes the return. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. Outside the pocket, lets it go. He's got it. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. It's a really nice job making the play. And you think about all the success they've had with Baker Mayfield and Jalen Hurts and, and Kyler Murray in recent years. But a big reason why those guys had success was they had big-time players on the perimeter getting open and making plays, too. It wasn't just all the quarterback position. They brought in some big-time recruits from high school at the receiver spot. This guy is no different. He has a chance to be the next great Sooner receiver. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Finds a man on the left. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. A third down play to get the quarter started. Easy. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. So now on comes the field goal unit. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 30. He gets a hand on it. That's a live ball. Defense has it. Guys, here come those maize and blue wing helmets on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. He'll try the left side. Runs through a tackle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Let's see what they do on third down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. To the air. It's Orgy. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And the Wolverines will bring the punt team onto the field. Slips through the line. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yards you can and help out the offense. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Fox running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. And this defense has taken up residence in the backfield, and the crowd loves it. Third and long. Did everything he could to discard the tacklers, but he was just able to get back to where he started. The Sooners will send out the punt unit. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets a block. did that one all by himself. Make a few guys miss, turn on the afterburners, and boom, everybody's toast. And that's
that's why you got him back deep, because that guy can do that. You got to be explosive and quick and have good vision, and you see all those things on one punt return. Takes it back to the house, makes people miss, turn it on the gas. Great job, great return. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Trying to start the drive with a pass. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Looking for a man. It's Arnold. They've got the screen set up. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking to move it through the air. He'll try to do it himself. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On third down, going up top. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And the Sooners will punt this one away. Wouldn't call it a shank, but I don't think he'll include it on his greatest hits. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. One more snap coming before halftime. Leaves it with the back. And after that short game, they'll head to the locker room. It's halftime here. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. The Sooners will kick it off to start the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Looking for a productive play on first down. Trying to set the tone with the run. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shooting.